Why are my succulent leaves falling off? A comprehensive care guide. If you're a green thumb with a soft spot for succulents, you've likely encountered the disheartening sight of succulent leaves dropping off. But don't be quick to label yourself a plant killer. There are many reasons why succulent leaves might fall off, and the good news is, most of these issues are fixable. Succulent leaf drop can be a natural occurrence or a sign of certain problems. Overwatering is the number one cause of leaf drop in succulents. These hardy plants are adapted to arid conditions and store water in their thick leaves, stems, and roots. When given too much water, they can become waterlogged and start losing leaves. Although succulents don't require frequent watering, they still need enough to sustain growth. Underwatered succulents can also experience leaf drop, typically starting from the lower leaves. These leaves may appear wilted or shriveled. While succulents are often thought of as sunlight-loving plants, not all types need direct sunlight. However, all succulents need some light. Inadequate light can cause succulents to stretch out, a process known as etiolation, and the leaves can become weak and fall off. Succulents are generally heat-loving plants. Extreme temperatures, sudden changes, or cold drafts can cause succulent leaves to fall off. High humidity can also trigger leaf drop, especially when paired with overwatering. Depending on the cause, leaf drop can be a temporary issue that's easily remedied. If you suspect overwatering, check your watering routine. Succulents prefer a soak and dry method. Water the plant thoroughly, then wait until the soil is completely dry before watering again. If your succulent is stretching out and dropping leaves, it might need more light. Try moving it to a brighter location, but be careful not to expose it to harsh midday sunlight suddenly as this can scorch the leaves. Make sure your succulents are in a stable environment with temperatures between 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Good nutrition can help strengthen your succulents against various stressors. Consider using a high-quality fertilizer specially designed for succulents. If your succulent is severely overwatered and showing signs of rot, it may be best to discard it to prevent the disease from spreading to other plants. Most succulent leaves do grow back after falling off, but it depends on the health of the plant and the reason for the leaf fall. If your plant has been overwatered, you should fix the watering schedule and then give it some time. You'll likely see new leaves sprouting from the stem once the plant has recovered. An overwatered succulent typically has swollen, mushy leaves that are discolored, often yellow or translucent. The leaves will likely drop off at the slightest touch. Contrary to popular belief, not all succulents need direct sunlight. Many types of succulents, like Haworthias and Gasterias, prefer indirect light or partial shade. Too little light can cause succulents to etiolate and become weak, while too much direct sunlight can scorch their leaves. A south or east facing window often provides ideal lighting conditions for most succulents. Succulents should be watered using the soak and dry method, which means the soil should be soaked thoroughly, then left to dry out completely before the next watering. A general rule of thumb is to water indoor succulents once every 10 to 14 days in the growing season, spring and summer, and once every 3 to 4 weeks in the dormant season, fall and winter. Caring for succulents involves understanding their specific needs. While leaf drop might seem alarming at first, identifying its cause and taking corrective measures can help restore your plant's health. Whether you're a seasoned plant parent or just starting with your first succulent, knowing what to do when succulent leaves fall off is a step towards growing a thriving succulent garden. Please visit asucculent.com to read more.